So Molly's driving this beautiful uh, crush here. Hello, you big humpy. Right here at Munda Reds. WA's biggest, best drought master stud, eh? Tell me about this here driving mechanism, Molly. It's just a hydraulic crush. We've got the rear slide, the head bail, and the squeeze. Sweet. And um, got the kick for when we get them in. Oh, yeah, because those are all actuated as well, eh? All the yeah, way around. So we've got numbers here. So seven. Them in. Eight. So the draft will come in the crush. And then we've got numbers for the gates out the front as well. Cool beans. It's awesome. It's rad, isn't it, India? All right, I gotta get some poo out of this guy. Do you wanna drive that before I get some poo? Sure. Uh, we'll get one. So what we're doing here is, um, we, in Western Australia, we don't have uh, a liver fluke called Graciola hepatica. It's kind of a baddie, because what it does is it, your liver fluke, it migrates through the liver, and in the process creates um, little channels where it's chewed through the liver, which wouldn't be a big deal, but the problem is that um, those, those channels fill full of blood, and it becomes anaerobic, and then clostridial bugs get in there, and it kills animals. So in WA, we are free! <laughs> liver food. So, in order to stay free, anything that comes from uh, eastern states, I mean, even if it's coming up here where there's no opportunity for the snails to live, the snails live down south, that, that could carry to the Fasciola hepatica, um, everything has to get a liver drench. So, this is a flucicide, I meaning it kills flukes. And then also, we got to check him to see if he's got any liver fluke eggs in his poo. Step one is to. Uh, find a way to get my hand into this bull's bum. <laughs> Remarkably, bulls have much tighter bums than cows. Hmm. Which is pretty handy when you accidentally try to break test the bull. In a hurry. Take a bit of poo. Yay. It's actually not poop, it's actually grass and water. <laughs> Put that into our little cup here. <laughs> Very carefully so don't get Poo on the outside, otherwise, or mud. That's mud. Otherwise, people get mad at me. You don't like her when she's angry. <laughs> and then we got, we got to give the fluke aside. So um, this guy weighs about a ton, so we can burn him out. Now, so he doesn't play up, a friend of mine, Don Finley, he's designed these easy bossies. Easy bossy. These are cool. So um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this in his mouth and he's gonna, it's gonna distract him and so that way I can get the liver fluke into him. So you can see it, the last one I treated. Otherwise, they throw their head around. They got, they got, they're pretty strong. They got all that, all that up there, the big muscle. Mud. Hang on up for a second, brother. This is Simon Bell. Howdy. Veterinarian extraordinaire. In his life, he's a sheep, sheep specialist, a specialist, and export specialist. Hey, do that. Oh, it's yummy. It's good medicine. Take your medicine. That's that. That's the easy bossy. Usually, it's pretty easy to get in their in their mouth, but. It distracts them. You can do all sorts of cool stuff. Like, you know, you got a wire around the leg or something. You put this in their mouth and you, they don't kick you. It's super cool. Yeah. The Easy Bossy Don Finley. Google it. There's his website. www.easybossy.com. Oh, he's going to love me for this. <laughs> <laughs> Product placement. <laughs> all good? <laughs>